I didn't see him earlier, but um, I'm glad he is. I like his necklace too. Shout out to that necklace. Oh, yeah. That's cool. All right, going to start game one on the classic neutral stage PS2. And we're going to see the Pyramithra pick from Lucas. I actually feel like this is not too terrible. I mean, if you get hit by 50%, it's kind of rough. Oh. But uh, I feel like Mithra's lack of higher damage makes this a little more even. Like, I think her neutral would obviously win this, but uh, I think Bowser Jr.'s conversions, like at, we saw at that low percent, could make up for it. Yeah, um, I believe I actually saw a commentator set where Terraboy played Frozen, and I know Terraboy lost that, but um, I think it's it's um, Mithra, you're going to have to realize with that character that you can use the speed to still chase down after cart. Like, you're so fast that mm -hmm. you can run up to the cart, so it's going to be really important that Mithra's speed can exploit the fact that like Bowser Jr. isn't you know the most faster mobile character outside of cart. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Even with cart, too, the options out of cart, the jump or yeah. the spin out, and you're not going to do spin out if you miss your opponent and you're across the stage, but... Um, there are ways to chase that down and put pressure on Junior, and there's not too many options he can do. We can like cover himself with a back air, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cannonball still in play. From the heavens, we've actually seen a lot more repping of uh, the cannonball from Terraboy as opposed to pre-pandemic. Really yeah, been using it for sure. Choice. Oh, that was clean. That is not an easy timing to hit. Yeah, it was ready for it at full stage at that. Oh, and this could be big. Yep, land on the platform. And that's 60. Nice. It's the 65. Still. Little juggle. I do like the swing there. Pyro with very strong moves, not likely to armor through that with Kart. Yeah, um, Puk uh, Pukus has been using um, Pyra's aerials. They're nice, like, big, chunky hits, so they can just shut down airspace. That Yo, he like died! Down. And that killed? That is but surprising. He died! I, didn't, I, I don't... Man, this character's really good. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, I, I think that maybe would have been, like, DI, but that was so wicked. Yeah, I, I really, like... Didn't look at the screen because I thought he was like totally alive, and then you and he died. I'm like, oh wait, really? Yeah. All right, back here out of shield on that one. Actually, I'm kind of surprised that scoops as low as it does from Mithra. That's a pretty good out of shield option. Oh yeah, it's super strong. That interaction too. So the previous time when Cart came out, Pugus was like, okay, I'm gonna narrow out of shield, and then the Cart just went away and he got whip punished. This time he's like, okay, I'll just wait a little bit back here right on shield. Terra Boy immediately with the uh, adaptation on that one. Yeah, and this is scary for Terra Boy because if you don't close this out, um, even though, oh, well, he does, but um, Pyra does, even a heavy character like Bowser Jr., you can die at 85, like nothing. What? Why are these killing? Like nothing. That uh, was at 80. That's, yeah, I mean, this, this character, <laughs> yeah. um, I think we're just seeing a bit of tier disparity here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is like a potentially like top five character versus one of the lower uh, realms. So. Right. Ready for the punish on that one, too. Actually crossed up on shield, but we saw the Nair on that one to cover both angles. All right. I like Ooh. the challenge. The up smash was a little bit of a hard read on that one. Not an incorrect read, but Terraboy coming down with the hitbox. Ooh, and Terraboy trying to end it all. Um, I don't know if that would kill, but it would be in a pretty good edge guard position. Mm -hmm. I actually like Poop's choice as well, because that was an opportunity to potentially go in, pressure Terraboy's shield, instead opted to take the center stage and then push Terraboy towards the corner. Right, this this could scary. be huge, yeah. Oh, oh. oh no, this could be really and bad that, now. And now it's reversed. Yeah, Terraboy's got to be smart here. Don't give Pook anything that can kill you super early, but yeah. once again, Pyra's aerials can just shut down oh, space no. so well. And that's the junior. Um, mm -hmm. You can definitely do that twice over ledge, and it catches air dodges on the initial one, so um, good stuff by Terraboy, recognizing that situation he's been in a thousand times. Um, yeah. And that's going to be a kill. And we actually saw the preemptive air dodge on that one, too. So Pook ready for uh, the hammer coming, because that is something you have to be prepared for in the matchup. But air dodged back onto the stage and right into Terraboy's hands. Oh, and the, the junior mask oh, coming up. The swap? Yo, that's yeah. sick. No more games from Terraboy. <laughs> He's looking to win this. That's amazing. All right, game two. Shoot, I needed that on a win, too. Yeah, yeah, that, I I would be shaking in my boots if I was Pook right now. <laughs> All right, still we're gonna see Pook's counter pick to small battlefield on this one. Let's see if the adaptations can be made. This isn't how you want to start though. Oh, gets out of it. Yeah, Terraboy has been able to get good damage uh, racked up, but um, the thing is, Pyro and Mithra can answer back so quickly with um, strings of their own. Oh, went for something creative right there. Yep, yep. I have seen that a little bit sometimes. I don't think that's true. I think that's more of like a matchup check, but uh, 
the air dodge back to the ledge will save it. Oh, actually, he trades out with the Koopa card. Yeah, um, terrible has been getting caught by these fairs a lot. He's gonna have to try weighing them out. Oh, um, <laughs> the trades! Yeah. Jesus, that nearly killed. I do like the patient return to ledge on that one. Poop not in any hurry to get punished. Ooh. And yeah, you cannot grab that move. Um, you gotta, like, the, actually something interesting you can do is you can spot dodge before the last hit comes out if you're getting hit by that. Really? Yeah, and then you can punish it. But um, just like that, you can't grab it. Oh shoot, I got you. Well, maybe a little bit of uh, matchup and experience on Terra Boy's end as well. Yeah, I found it out literally today, so. <laughs> Well, yeah, and like you said, Pook swinging back already on this one. Uh, fresh stock, both of them, dead even. Oh, wow. And that that's such a strong um, ability that Mithra has. Just able to air dodge, not only air dodge out of combos frame one, but then turn it, I don't know if it's frame one, but really quickly, mm -hmm. and then turn it into her own combo. Yeah. But it's so strong. When we saw in game one, I think it was Foresight on the forward tilt, run up grab, but that looked like a punish. I was like, Jesus Christ, this yeah, character. You get slowed down for quite a while. It's re And with Mithra's speed, you can almost always punish. Going again, we've seen these like um, up smashes to try to catch Terra Boy's landing, but Terra Boy just taking his time to get back down to the ground. I think that's that, a lot of damage. Yeah, I think that might have been a reaction on uh, Terra Boy's DIN on that one. Go for that conversion. Ooh, I think Terra Boy was hoping to get hit by the Mecha Coop right there and could combo off, but strangely didn't. All right, landing position, and you don't. Between the two, you generally don't want to land with Pyra. She's got really great hitboxes to swing down with, but her airspeed is not nearly as good as Mithra. And Bowser Jr. has actually got a decent uh, range to challenge you on the way down. Yeah, I think with uh, Miss Pyra, ooh, gosh, that's really rough because this is the first time I feel like Terra Boy has been at like, a significant deficit. Oh, oh, oh that would have been so that cool. That would have been the coolest thing Bowser Jr. ever done, but picks it up right after anyway. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Got a little bit of a, a ping pong into the kill on that one, even if it wasn't a direct combo. Uh, um, forward yeah. smooth from Mithra at lower percent seems like an interesting choice on this one. Oh, but, oh no. no! That is tragic. Oh, I think the fast felt expecting to land on stage, and when they didn't, they did not react in time. That's really gotta hurt. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Shoot. Yeah, and that's got to be a sigh of relief for Terraboy because I think they were starting to get some momentum going for them, really, towards the end right there. Yeah. They had a lead. Um, Edgard situation, Bowser Jr. didn't have a jump. That was a really good spot and just super unfortunate. Yeah, Pook is definitely feeling it, too. Like, uh, you know, that was the time to start mounting the offense and going for the win. Oh, there he goes. Oh, Slowly. <laughs> a little oh i see what you're saying yeah so burns the double jump on the way up yeah shoot that's unfortunate and just fast fell thinking they land back on stage right past the ledge Ooh. where's Tragic. rex i should have just stayed in xenoblade mm -hmm. 